going live in about uh, George Glass is with us. Welcome, George. Uh, Nidia Ramirez has joined us. Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pedro Soto. Welcome to this technology and market briefing being provided by the Medic to Mac, Peterbilt, and Freightliner dealers. Today I will be your host and facilitator. Joining me is Fernando Mejia, a 20-year veteran of the industry who is the expert analyst presenting this briefing today. Fernando, welcome. Please tell us something, a uh, background about the Medic, its trucking business, and, and your background for the benefits of our viewers. Sure. Thank you. Um, my name is Fernando. Like Pedro said, I've been working uh, in aftermarket automotive and truck for, for a long period of time. Dometic as a corporation, um, it's been around for about 100 years. Um, we have a very good footprint in the U.S. with the RV market. If you have an RV or go to an RV dealer, very likely you've seen some of our products. Um, we primarily focus on AC products and refrigeration products. We also have a marine division. Any boat that it's $250,000 and up in value has some sort of product of ours in there too. Um, and we work in the automotive and truck with OEMs like Freightliner uh, trucks. They'll have our refrigerators in there, put right at the factory. International trucks as well, Peterbilt's as well. Um, and now we're uh, getting ready to make products available to the aftermarket, primarily by request of uh, truck dealers. Um, so that's pretty much about Dometic and myself. Excellent. Thank you, Fernando. So it's fair to say that Dometic is a, a pretty big corporation with resources, staying power, and demonstrated commitment in the markets that, that it serves, right? Correct. Great. Correct. So uh, why don't we um, talk a little bit about the agenda, what we're going to tell our viewers today, our attendees. Uh, the, the topic today is trends driving dealer profits in the auxiliary AC market. And Fernando, I know you spent a lot of time on the road talking with dealers and specialty outfitters with fleet owners and, and you really have quite a pulse on what's going on out there in this, in this segment. So uh, I know we're going to be talking about three major things. Those trends that are driving demand for auxiliary AC systems. Uh, you're going to share what the business case for truck owners is, what the new reality for them is. And then we'll uh, discuss and, and, and reveal how dealers can position themselves to profit from these trends. And we'll invite them to consider a special program that Dometic is introducing into the industry. So why don't you uh, please tell us what, what you're seeing out there live, uh, pounding the pavement day in, day out, you know, in terms of these trends that, that are driving demand for these auxiliary AC systems. Sure. Well, so obviously there is a um, continued increase in fuel cost. Um, that's given. We all know. We've seen it at the pumps on a regular basis. Um, everybody knows that prices of diesel and gasoline are not going to go down. Technology on trucks for LPs and natural gas are still in very early stages. Um, that's one of the, the realities that we face. The other one is government is being more and more harsh on the regulations. There's currently seven states that forbid idling if the truck's not being used for hauling. And there's conversations about this becoming a federal uh, mandate. Um, so those are the two. Obviously, there's the ecological footprint, too, that drives the EPA, um, trying to reduce the amount of gases being released. So all, a combination of all of those three things, it's making more and more truck drivers primarily um, to look at alternatives. Also, one of the realities that we have here in the U.S., we don't have a proper railroad system, so everything has to be on the road. Everything goes on a truck. Um, so the um, other part of it is there's more competition in any industry that exists, and that applies also for police for truck drivers. Um, so truck, uh, truck drivers, 
back in the day could probably, you know, do the run, uh, run it like a mom and pops. As long as I got money coming in, I'll be able to pay out and pay my bills and, and be comfortable with my finances. Nowadays, uh, truck drivers are being forced to be uh, business owners and, and look at their bottom lines and be very careful on their expenditures. Um, and so same thing for fleets. Um, fleets also have the challenge of those fleets that offer auxiliary AC systems or TVs or microwaves or more comfort in the truck, you know, are more likely to stay with those companies. Okay. Um, so, so for now, let, let me probe a little bit into that. So we've got uh, truck drivers, right, and owners and operators out there. They're dealing with a lot more competition. They've got regulatory issues that, uh, in some cases, can really create exposure if they run afoul of some of these regulations. They can be pretty steep, right? Correct. And then you also have the competition, the economics of fuel, high costs. So that leaves that leaves uh, you know truck owners and operators and fleet owners and operators in 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 a place of having to find how do they really drive the bottom line to be the, as best as they can. Correct. Correct. And and so typically, so if if you know it's kind of like any any business owner or anybody who runs a budget in their household when they when they have bottom line profit expense pressures they start looking at like what are the bigger pieces what are the bigger chunks that they can work on and start from there right correct excellent so if, if you look at it from a um, an EPA as far as um, um, the, the economics of it people that do not have a way to not idle their truck they're going to spend about a gallon an hour um, they're going to idle about eight hours a day, and if they only work 150 days um, with all the additional maintenance, which I know trucks work more than 150 days, um, yeah. you're you're looking at about a ten thousand dollars a year in in additional expense. Um, not to mention that you know um, if you get a fine, you know it's five hundred dollars yeah. the first time. And it just keeps going up, and they end up in the thousands. Um, one of the other things that are changing now is back before. One of the regulations was if the truck was not proper, the fine could go to the owner of the truck or to the fleet. Now the fines are being imposed directly into the truck, truck drivers, and and that changes their license status immediately. So their drivers are pushing also to have vehicles that are properly tuned in, that meet all the specs and that meet all the requirements for, for the Department of Transportation. Okay. So, so Fernando, what, what you're telling us here is every truck out there that is not equipped with an auxiliary AC system uh, basically is carrying around a $30,000 problem impacting in a real negative way their bottom line. Yes, and, and we're talking about trucks that use them for sleep. Sleeper trucks, yes. Any sleeper truck or any truck that it's used with people that sleep on it, right? Yes, they're they're doing that kind of expenditure. Yeah, because because let's see what if they have a sleeper truck and they're out on the road, you know, long haul. What options do they have be, be in addition to sleeping uh, in their sleeper cab? Hotels. <laughs> Hotels, Hotels is right. A, um, and that's about it. Or, you know, sucking it up, I guess, right? But that's pretty difficult if there's very high temperatures uh, where they're driving. You don't want to be driving with, you know, 100,000 pound load in the back and be closing your eyes in the middle of the road. That's a huge liability for yeah. your, for anybody. Yeah. Plus, when you're resting and sleeping, you, you really need to rest, right? So. So the, the quality of, of the environment, of the ambience for the truck driver is important, correct? Correct. So there's really, there's really no shortcut or magic bullet around, uh, around having a properly equipped uh, sleeper cab to, uh, to either have the truck idling so they can keep their ambient temperature and surroundings uh, comfortable to rest, 
or they or they have to do something correct that that is correct and um, this is where um, you know truck dealers have a huge opportunity because there's truck drivers that walk in every day truck dealers already deal with fleets uh, I'm sure certain truck dealers are already being asked by them um, and this is still in a new stage uh, even though it's been around for a few years there's still a lot of questions out there um, there's still a lot of false advertisement out there in terms of what what is what can you really expect for certain products and uh -huh. what you can't um, so for for a dealer um, most dealers have access to some sort of product and that it's been driven primarily by the OEM um, if we talk about BTUs which we can explain that whatever system that they choose to buy in an OEM level the cost of the dealer it's about a dollar thirty per BTU and they can only profit about ten percent of that sale um, through so, a for, Fernando I'm sorry I want to I want to just uh, uh, bring this to us uh, uh, another way of looking at it so when it when a dealer decides that they want to position themselves to to profit from this trend mm -hmm. and they choose to go with an OEM product this this fact you're putting out here of whatever uh, typically on average uh, these auxiliary AC systems provided by OEMs will run about a dollar thirty per BTU and then provide them with a ten percent profit mat margin. Correct. So that that comes out to about thirteen cents per BTU of uh, of gross profit margin, not net, just gross, right? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and that is, you know that. The, the, when they're building trucks, they have to spec out different alternators or different bed systems, and there's really not much room for it for for options on 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 the systems that are at an OEM level. You know, there's one. Um, if you're a Freightliner, you have one choice. If you're a Volvo, you have our choice. If you're Mac, you have somebody else's choice. Um, so that's about it. And it comes, you know, whatever the configuration it is done in that particular truck there's very little room to change the aftermarket you know you have uh, obviously you can profit more that makes the truck more competitive in the overall price and the dealer can make a you know if you go by your math you know 13 cents per BTU as opposed to 21 cents per BTU it's almost double the profit yep okay or you know if you stay like it is and you know a truck driver that needs one will ask you as a dealer if you offer that, if your company is not set up to answer the questions properly and provide alternatives, they'll turn around and go find it somewhere else. The reality is that they're finding them, they're being installed every day. Um, there's companies that are on a permanent roll, year in, year out, doing 30 to 40 per month throughout their trucks because they already have seen the benefits, they're already saving their money, um, and that's what they're doing. So it is there it's happening okay now what I know cost is one thing and profit is is obviously important for uh, a dealer to consider but there are also other considerations when they choose to go with one provider versus the other whether it's an aftermarket or is back to the OEM what are those one of the main ones it's obviously the, the training part of it um, we we've seen in our market research Currently, some of our competitors, when they provide you with their offer, you have to pay them to train you. So if you have a parts guy or, or whoever is doing your sales on the front, decides to leave or does not work for the company anymore and you need to be retrained, you will have to pay again. Um, where we have a free training, um, we help you set up from the very beginning. We have all point of sale materials and, and to help you with that. Second part of that is extremely important, which I think is the main one, is the installation, the ease of installation, and the fear for the unknown. So a lot of the products that are out there, they're certainly complicated to an extent to do. They require major modifications in trucks, and sometimes the people don't want to sink in that many hours or that headache in it. Our product is extremely simple to install. It's very straightforward. Um, you don't need a high-end technician. Um, you don't even need him to know refrigeration in a way, because uh, everything that we have is pre-charged. It's 
plug and play. Um, you're only going to make three holes in the truck, very small, and you're going to drill you know, four for the condenser. It's minimum, minimum um, changes. Anything that we have in there, it's proprietary, so it's impossible for them to connect the wrong hose at the wrong place. <laughs> With all electronic cables, you can put the wrong cable at the wrong place, um, and it's only three cables, basically. So it's extremely simple to operate, too. It's almost like a house. It's like a house thermostat. You set the temperature and the unit will do itself. The third option or the third point of it with that, it's out there, it's a warranty. You know, what happens when the truck driver goes out there and it's 150 degrees in Arizona and the air is not cooling enough? So they need to be able to, we need to service our products. So we have extensive um, footprint in the U.S., with companies that are truck related, with companies that are RV related, and companies that are marine related that are able to assist us should we need to provide service. And our warranty, it's two years comprehensive of parts and warranty um, nationwide, and I don't think anybody else offers more than a year. Um, the other thing, too, is when it comes to labor, different states have different labor rates. So most of our competitors have a flat rate per hour. We allow our, our dealers, if they show us that their warranty cost should be $95 instead of 65 for kind of the average, we make those exceptions where, where we see they're needed, and we pay at whatever the rate of the shop is. So we're not trying to shortchange anybody on, on warranties or anything like that. Excellent. So you, you, you cited, in addition to profit, four other important things. The, the availability of the training, mm -hmm. the, uh, the ease of installation, and it's something that the medic has really uh, perfected through a lot of experience. Uh, then there's the warranty, and you explained what, what value the warranty that the medic provides has, including the fifth point that you will actually make, uh, you'll accommodate any differences in labor rates that may be out there from state to state uh, just to make it right in case one of these units would require some special attention, right? Correct. And right. the reality that we do this is it's our warranty rate is extremely, extremely low. Um, most of the products that we build um, in our Pompano facility before they leave, they're tested. Um, we do audits constantly. We have five factories here in the U.S. alone, so we're we have our processes very well um, established and, and corrected. So the minute that we see an issue, it just gets corrected right away. Very good. Well, having said all that, Fernando, I know that uh, you and, and together with the trucking division have put together a really innovative, very unique program to introduce into the industry for the benefit of dealers. Uh, in fact, at the end of this presentation, we're going to invite uh, those folks that, that have been uh, viewing this, whether now live or in replay, to apply uh, in a no-obligation, no-risk way for Correct. this program, which you're about to describe. So why don't you tell us about it? Well, the, the program is very simple. You know, it's very easy to, to say how things work and, and then actually see them work. So... We are, what we're doing now is we're opening 30 spots. Basically, if you want to be part of this and if you think that you can profit from it and you already have calls or want to know more, you apply for the program. What we'll do is we'll give you a free unit. You don't have to pay out of pocket. We'll ship it to you. We'll train you. We'll install it in a truck with your people. We'll make sure you're comfortable with it. And then that becomes your demo unit or your whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, you'll start selling or promoting a product and at the end of, a, of this year based on the amount of units that you were able to sell that unit might be absolutely free or you can send it back to us um, whatever it is that we need to help you to be successful that's the idea and you know that's how our program works we're not we believe in our product uh, we know we have a good good product. We know that it's really easy to install and in this year from every company that we work with that have had our product and have seen it work, 
we have had zero returns yet. Very good. So in essence, you're eliminating virtually all of the risk that a dealer would have to be ready to be positioned to benefit from this emerging Correct. market. Correct. Okay. And you're actually supporting them in a way that that first unit, which they're not going to pay out of pocket, when it comes time to pay for it, they could potentially get it for free based on the volume of sales that they had during Correct. the whole year. Correct. And the reason why we, we put a, a date to be returned is because you know, we, we need to give a, we need to have an answer whether it's a yes or no. Yeah. Uh, it has to end, you know. Um, That's right. That's right. It's pretty straightforward business, uh, you know. Yeah, there's, there's no gimmicks. There's no. Actually, the unit comes out, and um, the invoice that he get that the dealer will get is zero. So. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Is there anything else that the dealer should know about the program? I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, the program is very straightforward. Um, um, more than what. I think the the next part they need to know is just the pricing and and the information. But you know, it's only if people want to be part of it. We'll share all the competitors and and how they're they're different. And you know, that's part of our other webinars that we're doing. Excellent. And so the next step that uh, the dealer might want to take at this point, those of us, those of you folks that are live or watching this in replay, if you look at your uh, the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you see a picture of an application and a button that says get started in yellow. It says apply today, no obligation. <laughs> Let me just make sure and explain what's going on here. So by you, wait, were you to click that button now, when you do, you'll be taken to another page that will help you just let us know that you're interested in discussing this further with us and as such you're applying for the program this is by application only we you know there is no obligation on your part and there's no obligation on our, on our part either in other words you're not guaranteed that you'll have a spot there are other considerations that Fernando and the trucking division will take into account to uh, assign a spot to a dealer because we're only making 30 spots available and uh, Fernando, if you were just to take a wild guess, how many dealer and service stations are out there? In the hundreds or the thousands, maybe? That service our product? Uh, no, that that are that, that are potential uh, outlets that can be there to take advantage of this opportunity. Well, there's five thousand dealers nationwide. Okay. So. There you go. And we're only making thirty spots available. So it's on a first come, first serve basis. And uh, remember, all you have to do is click on the button on the lower right-hand corner of your screen that says Get Started. You'll be taken to a uh, screen where you can simply leave us your name and contact information, basically a way of saying you're raising your hand. And uh, Fernando and someone else from his team will contact you and just uh, share more details. We will also invite you to uh, other webinars that delve deeper into the product line, that kind of stuff. So it's really basically a way to tell us that you're interested and that you think you might be a suitable candidate for the program, which will be up to uh, Fernando and his team to, to really make that final decision. So um, before we, we, we uh, wrap it up, Fernando, uh, is there anything else uh, you'd like to add or say in parting? No, yeah, just if there's any questions or anything that I said that was not clear, I'll be more than glad to detail it. Excellent. Very good. Well, uh, thank you very much, everyone, for attending. Uh, we appreciate you taking time from your busy schedules. Fernando, thank you for taking time from your schedule. Uh, before we wrap it up real quickly, we're going to open it up for any questions uh, folks might have out there. Feel free to type them in your chat box right there, and, and if anything uh, comes up here in the next uh, 30 or 40 seconds, we'll be happy to answer that. Um, one thing I did want to mention, for those of you that fill out the application from this presentation, 
we have a special bonus that you'll get whether or not you're accepted into the program. It has a value of uh, over $100. So uh, just fill out the application, and, and when you meet over the phone or in person with Fernando and his team to learn more about the program, uh, make sure to ask about your, your bonus because uh, it's a pretty uh, uh, nice surprise we have for you guys with some very special products from Dometic uh, that your clients will really find valuable and you will literally get a, a free, uh, uh, well worth over $100 uh, value just for applying today. So, Fernando, I'm not seeing any uh, questions coming in. Uh, I'd say with that we can we can uh, wrap it up and uh, again from uh, myself and on behalf of Fernando and the entire Dometic team thank you everybody for being here today with us I will now uh, send everybody to the page where you will be able to um, fill out your application in case you didn't have a chance to press the button before Alrighty, and we're signing off. Have a good day, Fernando. Thank you.